Hi again, everybody. So on Monday, I talked to you about the TICS project, remembering that I'm Helen for Oxitec. And today we are going to talk about the friendly fall armyworm, the regulatory pathway. The TICS project is already on uh, development phase. However, the fall armyworm is already approved by CTN Bio, and we are going to uh, the commercial phase soon. So uh, just to make clear uh, something about the, the molecular biology of the insects. Um, we have here the self-limiting gene I mentioned on Monday, but I didn't show you the mechanism. So uh, the self-limiting gene is female specific and uh, it works via tetracycline repressible expression of the TTAV effector gene. So uh, let's remember that we are talking about conventional genetic engineering. So this is a GMO that follows Mendelian inheritance. So um, once we have the self-limiting gene, in uh, the male carriers survive as normal since the TTAV is spliced out of male transcript. While female carriers cannot survive to adulthood, once the TTAV is expressed, it binds to the TTO enhancer, leading to lethal positive feedback loop. So this is what we see, this is what we have to take to the field. However, uh, inside our labs, we need to produce the colonies, we need to multiply the insects. So in this case, uh, we use tetracycline that binds to TTAV, switching off the female lethality. So this is how uh, the molecular biology of our product works. And then we have the biological mode of action. So female offspring do not survive. Uh, and what is fall armyworm? So for the ones that are not familiar, uh, we are talking about Spodoptera frugiperda, that is one of the main pests uh, of corn. And here in Brazil, we have more than 30 million acres of BT biotech corn uh, being planted. And uh, this pest causes more than 1 billion losses uh, in management costs here in Brazil. So um, in 2019, uh, we started, let's say, our regulatory process once we got some field trials approval from CTN Bio, and then we start our efficacy validation to check field performance, suppression, and resistance management in contained studies also. In 2021, we got the full biosafety approval from CTN Bio. So last year, uh, we, we had all the, the preparation uh, of the dossier and it was approved at CTN Bio. I will show you soon uh, the studies we presented. And now we are on farm scale, uh, farm scale pilots. So we've been uh, releasing uh, our product in large uh, farms in different states here in Brazil to test the product. And we are preparing for the next phase uh, that would be the commercial one. So as I showed uh, on Monday, uh, we have tests, we have trials and experiments in, in different cities showing that we can get more than 90% pest reduction relate, relative to untreated areas. And... Uh, the technology provides protection of Bt crop over time. Once we use uh, wild type species to produce our strains, and these wild type species are uh, susceptible to insecticides. So the what is being shown is that the allele for uh, insect uh, susceptibility goes uh, through one generation to another. Uh, here is just for you to see that the technology uh, has been uh, gone uh, strong regulatory track record. So we have uh, a lot of projects already approved from, from by regulatory agencies around the world. And now I'll talk a little bit about the regulatory pathway to get this product approved here in Brazil. So I think here, it's worth mentioning that uh, most of the studies that we had to present to CTN Bio 
are the same ones presented for crops. So um, this is very important because as we saw earlier this morning, many countries uh, have the legislation for crops analysis. And now, uh, as you can see here on the description, uh, many of the studies are exactly the same that were uh, that are usually uh, presented by the uh, the companies to the agencies. So, for example, detailed description of genetic modification, molecular characterization, uh, dispersion, longevity of the GMO, uh, lack of toxicity towards non-target and susceptible organisms, and many others. And of course, there are some specific studies uh, for the fact that this is an insect. So we need to uh, present acute toxicity in rats, feeding studies with beetles, birds, and parasitoids, because these um, animals can feed, for example, from uh, this insect. So we needed to show that the, the insect, the release of this insect wouldn't impact anything in the environment, okay? Uh, so once we've presented all these studies and the commission analyzed uh, the process, they decided to approve the commercialization of this project. And the final uh, statement is exactly uh, as you can see there. Uh, Citany Bio said, thus, having met in the conditions described in the process and in this technical opinion, this activity is not potentially causing significant degrade, degradation of the environment or human and animal health. Therefore, and in view of information mentioned above, that CTN Bio decided to grant the commercial release. So this process took, took around, uh, I guess, six months to be completed at CTN Bio. And I think it's the first um, insect for agriculture uh, in Sydney Bio that was approved. Okay, thank you. <laughs>